Hello, Taurus. Elsie here to drop a reading for you. How are you? Just thought I'd come back and, and drop one more reading for you before the new week begins and we get into the sneak peek for the week. And uh, how are you? Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day to um, all the fathers out there and um, those of you who are mothers and fill in for the fathers as well. So I hope we'll hear from you in the comments today about uh, being a father or um, a father that you know. Um, and uh, thank you for sharing that with me today. So I'm here to just uh, drop a reading for you. Let's just do some tarot today. Find out what is going on for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you for clicking here. If you're always doing that, I appreciate you, of course. Always, always. And if you're brand new, welcome. I hope you'll let us know in the comments that you're here. And uh, the best way to get my energy is to get my attention. And I'm always in the comments, y'all. Whether you are using your real name or not, whether you give me your information or not, just an emoji is good. I just want to know you're there. I want to feel you. All right, here we go, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Tell me what's coming up for Taurus. Tell me what's going on with Taurus, please. All right. Okay. There we go. You've been waiting for something for a long while. A long while. We have uh, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo to begin with. We have the King of Wands, who is Leo, but also all three in a general reading. We have um, the Hierophant and the, the Knight of Pentacles. I want to say that there's probably some of you who have been waiting a very long time to hear from this fire sign. They've been dragging their heels. I think that you know that it's here or that it's very close uh, because the Knight of Pentacles is right here. Yeah, I feel like it's it's very close to entering your life. It's it's the thing that's on your mind. So you're manifesting this. Top of your mind, you know, the thing that is that when I lay the first card, that's what the, the reading is about. It's what's what's on your mind. And um, the Knight of Pentacles is like, where's mine? Why is it taking so long? What I want to say is because it's right here. I think that I think that you've been waiting a long while for it, but I think it is here. Tell me more, please, about Taurus. King of Wands is very passionate, can be impulsive, but the king is someone who is forged through fire, right? This person's been through a lot of stuff. Hard times, and they are a king in spite of it. This person is um, very passionate, has a lot of passion. It's a new passionate beginning here, the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. It's been taking a very long time, and I think it's been uh, likely because of this Four of Pentacles energy here. So the Four of Pentacles energy is about being closed off or shut down, not being very vulnerable. As you can see along the fence, she's got the locks, right? It's, it's about uh, not sharing. Of course, nothing, you know, it's like a, Brene Brown says when we all walk around in our, our shiny armor so we don't get hurt. But it ends up being this scenario here. Yeah, you nothing gets in to hurt you, but also nothing gets out. It's like you can't feel. You're not vulnerable. I feel as though you've been holding on to some type of new beginning. The idea of a new beginning... The promise of something new and passionate with someone who is definitely a fire sign. And although I know that that card is Leo, it's giving me Aries vibes. Because I, you know, that for me, the King of Wands as an energy is felt as a little more unstable and I can't really trust you. And, you know, it feels like that kind of energy. I don't trust that energy really. Um, but I do... Yeah, I do trust the Aries energy though. It's a, although it's it's still fiery. Um, it's a it's a little less impulsive, a little more stable. Um, yeah, that's the energy that I'm getting from that because of this, because it's coming in slowly and stable, and you know we're not going to make any quick moves. And so I'm getting a little more stability within the King of Wands. And although I know that's Leo, it's to me giving me Aries vibes. 
I've got the sun. I've got Leo on the bottom of the deck. I think you've had some growth, Taurus, over the last short bit of time. And when I say short, I mean like five years. I think that you have been healing for, for some of you have been, and I mean really intensely paying attention to your healing above all else kind of healing. Those of you who have been doing that kind of healing, I feel as though it's it's a, what's allowed you to move on from something. It gave you great clarity because you move slowly. It, you've got, um, you know, the Six of Swords is about going from the chaos to the calm, but I also feel, as a reader, why would you carry Six Swords? They're damn heavy. Well, you carry them because they're valuable, because they have memories and communications and connections and things you want to remember, lessons that you've learned. I feel moving on is going to make you the happiest, and I don't know exactly what that means yet, but let's take a look. Let's take a look here. So we have the Three of Cups that's shown up, right? We can't ignore that. There is uh, some sort of um, some sort of a reunion for some of you, I feel, with the uh, with the King of Wands, who is whoever you want it to be. Doesn't even have to be a fire sign, but I told you the sort of the energy that I'm getting from that, more of a a stable kind of fire sign, uh, one that's not so impulsive. Um, the Three of Cups, I feel like there's going to be some type of reunion. Now, I feel, Taurus, that you are the one who is, uh, has been holding on to this whole thing energetically with the, with the possible Aries uh, here, Aries Sagittarius Leo. Um, I feel like you, you've become either closed off to it you, I think you have become sort of closed off to it or uh, shut down or I'm not, I'm not giving this situation any more energy. That's what it feels like. I'm not giving this any more energy. But we have the, um, the uh, Knight of Pentacles who's moving so, so very slow. And so it tells me you've been holding on to this situation for a very long time whilst trying to keep you know, going on with your life, doing your things, and yeah. I think if there is going to be this reunion here that you're going to have to, you're going to have to open up a little bit. Yeah. As I think it's you that's closed off. The Hierophant is here. I also feel like you already know that. It's not like no big revelation. I'm telling you anything that you don't already know. Because if you're the Hierophant, then you already know. Yeah. I, I think that this this Four of Pentacles, which has been giving me most of the energy in this reading, aside from, from this this uh, King of Wands, I feel like the, the Hierophant energy is about to change. Um, or sorry, the Hierophant is about to change this energy of the Four of Pentacles, just because I'm looking at the Owl. So I feel like something's about to transform, or this situation that has been really slow and s slow moving, it may be because you're kind of closed off, but I think that that is is about to to change to transform some sort of knowledge that you'll be given from the universe is going to change that for you there we go so i did say aries right i i thought that this felt like aries and the emperor is that but also remember the emperor has all the energies of all the the kings all right tell me more So this makes sense to me now why this uh, why this King of Wands felt a little more stable because he is an emperor, uh, he or she, right? Feminine or masculine, we all have both energies. Um, so I feel like someone is about to take charge of this situation um, that they've been feeling burdened in. The emperor has been feeling burdened about something and is about to take action, King of Wands, is about to take inspired action uh, towards something that is going to unburden him or her, she or he, feminine or masculine, right? The, um, the emperor has had clarity on something here. Ah, clarity, right? bottom of the deck clarity to help to help the emperor move on 
Uh, there's um, Aries energy here. There's also the sun, which is Leo. So the clarity has come that somebody, uh, I feel like the emperor has realized, feminine or masculine, that they have been overthinking the whole situation. Yeah. The, the uh, Eight of Swords is showing up in the reverse, which means that someone has pulled themselves out of this mental prison. I think the sun is probably responsible for that, giving clarity, and now we can grow, right? Because everything grows under the sun professionally. Personally, you know, as a human, your hair, your nails, and, and you know, life in general, the sun gives life and uh, grows everything. All right, so we're going to talk about this Three of Cups here. Tell me about this. This this does feel to me like a group meeting or a reunion of some sort, or can we meet for a coffee? Because we're still feeling a little closed off here. So somebody who I feel is the is the emperor is wants to connect with you here. Tell me why the emperor wants to connect. Because the emperor understands that you are the empress. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me about this reunion. So this could be someone that you've been either silent with or someone that you've had very spotty communication with. Uh, I feel like you have been distancing yourself from this situation because it feels like you're in some sort of a healing, and which is why I feel felt the transformation here for you. I think it's really important to know that it's really uh, hard to change, but it's possible, right? With the Hierophant energy, when you're living in the higher self and you have the lessons and you're disciplined in your belief system, and no matter what that is for you, I feel as though that's when when we're kind of diligent about, about holding on to whatever it is that we our belief system is. And I don't care what it is for you. I love you anyway. But um, I feel that when we... When we hold on too tight to anything, it's apt to slip through our fingers or maybe we start to take it for granted. So I want to say that the Three of Cups is here because the Four of Swords is here and you've been doing some healing and some thinking about being in the Four of Pentacles. I think you realize that you've been holding on to too many things for too long. And when this Three of Cups comes forward, I feel like it pulls you out of your Four of pentacles energy where you're kind of shut down we're looking at fours here right so the fours you know it's a it's it's not a terrible place to be it's an okay place to be but eventually it gets redundant and no matter what suit we're looking at it will get redundant in the energy and it's time to move on so i feel like you have been healing this four of pentacles this inability to be vulnerable here and as you do that you manifest i feel communication um, there's communication coming here. The Three of Cups. Who is this, please? Bringing communication. This is someone that you may have had harsh words with or had like a really tense conversation with. It doesn't feel like it was an argument, but it feels like it was maybe a difference of opinion. And um, this person... Uh, you weren't really sure how they made you feel. So instead of talking to them about it, you went into the Four of Pentacles. So this is good news that's coming towards you here. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Now, the thing is, I always give you the lecture, Taurus, especially when you're a fixed sign. I always give you the, the lecture about, you know, change is good. This is positive change. It's, you know, Jupiter. Jupiter's in Taurus now until next year, May. Um, good things are happening. And I know that you're probably someone who isn't used to having you know, good things happen spontaneously for you, but I feel like some really quick change is coming. And I, I feel really sh the, I'm trying to put the emphasis on really, because we've got the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So it's good change. This, there is somebody, a group of people or a person who's going to want to invite you somewhere uh, to a group setting or maybe someone wants to take you out but there is some type of reunion whether that's with one or more people it is a good situation and uh, the wheel of fortune is here to say there is going to be some change coming it's going to be hard change because this is all the fixed energies right you could be dealing with scorpio a taurus like you aquarius or leo and um 
this energy is one that may look really rough on the surface because especially if you're in the four of pentacles if you're in the four of pentacles right now and you're shut down and you're not really giving energy to anyone or anything um, except your spirituality i feel like this is going to be really hard change for you because you don't like quick change right you like to go at it slowly you like to know that it's coming up be able to feel it out and think about it but there's uh, some hard, quick change coming here. And although it's not going to look very good on the surface or feel very good on the surface, I feel like it's um, it's something that is, is going to be incredibly beneficial because it's divine timing. It's destiny, right? The major arcana cards only show up in your reading when it's time for change, uh, when things need to... Um, move in a certain direction right like the sun it was time for you to grow back there or time for this person giving this person time to grow because understand i think you're the empress and we had to wait for growth over here so for anybody who's been waiting um not waiting do you know what i mean when i say waiting right just doing your own thing in your own life and turning your back to the situation i feel it was necessary for your person's growth now i could say your person but i mean pick the emperor the empress who are you right it's up to you um, but I think we're talking about uh, Taurus being the Empress and the Emperor. All right. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What are the good things that are coming here? The change that's coming here is that somebody is going to reveal their feelings to you. The Knight of Cups um, is here, but I think you already know this. I think that you know this person had feelings for you, and that might be why it was so hard for you to let go. Four of Pentacles, because I think you already knew it, right? Your, your spiritual self was telling you that there was a connection to this person that was more than just, you know, uh, attraction. We have uh, the Six of Cups in the reverse. So what I want to say when I see the Six of Cups in reverse is that you've known this person for a long time, but you're not really sure if you even have that kind of connection anymore. So there is history with you here. It might be a history that is tumultuous, like up and down, up and down. Um, I feel like it's the Six of Cups in the reverse says, um, I know we still have this connection, but are you still my friend? Like, do we... Do we carry on from here uh, to, with each other or not because the six of cups says a lot of things right it could say like maybe we're just drained maybe the whole situation has drained us and we're not even friends anymore maybe i don't want to know you anymore i think these are some of the things that are going on in the head of the emperor because i believe the emperor is the one who is going to be taking action here I feel like you have, you know, the, the Six of Cups is in the reverse here and the Hierophant's here. And I feel it's like, yeah, you're feeling some type of way about the whole situation. But intuitively, I think you know what's about to go down. And I've been hearing, or sorry, hearing from some of you in your private reads, um, in the information that you give me, and also people who are in the comments saying, it's like I'm on pause for some reason and it's making me crazy because I just want the doors to open the grocery store doors to open so I can walk through, right? But I'm waiting for the store to open. That's what it feels like. We've got uh, the hanged man. So there is some type of seeing it from someone else's perspective or seeing it from another perspective. So maybe your perspective is, well, I've been waiting all this time for the emperor. Maybe the emperor doesn't even want to be my friend. Maybe it's done. Maybe it's over. I don't think it is because the Knight of Cups is snuggled up right next to the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I don't think that it's over, but I, I feel as though you are uh, attempting to let go. Um, so with the Four of Swords and the uh, Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're attempting to heal yourself and let go of the situation, seeing it from the from uh, the the side of someone else or the empathetic side. I feel like you sort of surrender yourself to the Hierophant energy and start teaching yourself because I know as a Hierophant, a lot of people will come to you for, for your knowledge or your wisdom, but it's, um, I feel like it's time for you to, uh, to realize that, uh, that there is a, another side to this, like it's the emperor's side as well. And I think that you've decided that the emperor doesn't really even, connect to you anymore or maybe that you were wrong that that person wasn't the soulmate i think they are but uh, that's totally up to you the energy i'm feeling is that you are but you're unsure or you're feeling like you need to just you know surrender all of this to the universe and just say take it if it's not mine then take it
Yeah, I think you have committed to working on yourself until love finds you. Now, the thing is, is, is this... Is this Emperor coming forward? What's going on here with the Emperor? We've got the Six of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Cups again. So the Six of Wands is victory after, after you know, the war. So coming home and not looking any worse for wear, but, you know, uh, victory and people cheering you on and you made it. You did it, right? The Three of Swords is... Somebody, it feels like somebody has had victory over or has overcome some sort of heartbreak as it pertains to the Three of Cups. So I feel like the Emperor was in a third party that they didn't put themselves in. I feel like the Emperor was in a relationship and someone else brought in a third party. And then the Emperor realizes that this isn't fun anymore. Yeah. So I think that the emperor was probably in a relationship in the past and it feels like it it's it's just not fun anymore. The page of wands shows up in the reverse where nobody's taking action. It's not fun, it's not flirty. It's you know, it's not fun anymore. It's like it's the someone is going back to the crossroads or is at the crossroads of their life or is looking out in the expanse and seeing the Ten of Cups and not realizing that where they are right now is no fun anymore. So I feel like the Emperor is coming from, yeah, some sort of a relationship that never worked out. So we got the commitment in reverse, right? And the Five of Cups. I feel like the, the Emperor is, you know, has had something that has gone upside down here. Um, no commitment and is having regret for things they've done in the past that has affected their four of wands. King of Swords and the Magician. Hmm. I'm going to say for some of you, be careful about manipulative words. Now, the King of Swords, when they're in the reverse, I feel is... Well, up against the magician, it almost feels like it's going to be some sort of, of, what do I want to say? For some of you, beware of someone who's trying to manipulate you through their words. I really think that this emperor has the ability to turn on a dime and, and, get very defensive and get angry and maybe try and muddy the waters or, or has a, can get very manipulative. Now, I know that sounds terrible, but I just want to say that this person does that for a living. So I'm going to say that this emperor is probably used to getting their way because of the way in which they negotiate and that they will pull out a king of swords in the reverse at any moment to win the negotiation. So... I feel like this person is coming to see you. I feel like you're going to get some type of communication. But for some of you, be careful about this this emperor because this person's going to take charge and this person is going to do anything that they have to do, including manipulate you with words in order to make balance out of something they feel that they've lost in the past. So it may not be even that they're trying to fix things with you, but that they're trying to fix things from the past without actually fixing things from the past. And they're bringing all of that forward. So, all right. Let's get some advice because i got to break the energy here for a second. <laughs> Let's get some advice. <laughs> Feels kind of intense. And I mean, it, it doesn't feel like a bad situation. It feels like there's going to have to be a lot of navigation Taurus, a lot of really careful navigation. Yeah. Spread your wings. Confidence that leads to freedom and growth. So taking chances, maybe some educated risks. Make sure you're confident in what your gut is telling you to do. And you will overcome overcome some obstacles so getting back on your feet gaining strength from a difficult situation pay attention look out for signs from the divine and acknowledge red flags even though this person is an emperor is what i want to say you've called this person in on your energy because they are an emperor now it is your um your intuitiveness in spending time with them is to figure out whether or not this person is 
is genuine, is healed, and it's saying here to acknowledge red flags. So if you do see red flags, like if this person switches on a dime and turns into someone who can manipulate and get anything they want with their words, then that's a red flag, possibly. You might want to look into that. We have a twin flame. So I was saying that this is up and down, up and down, it feels like. And obsession pay attention to obsessive behaviors pay attention to if this person is jealous if they don't they start dictating the way you have to dress or who you're allowed to speak with or who your friends are allowed to be pay attention to red flags and um i feel like this is probably for some of you and not all of you and y'all it's so freaking rare to have a twin flame for some of you this is a twin um but i feel like you you are supposed to take a chance here because it says spread your wings with the twin flame, I feel. Um, but make your own decision. It's not going to be for all of you because not for this per this emperor that comes back, for not, not for all of you is this person going to be healed. I feel like there is going to be an, a love offer coming in, but for some of you, this person is not going to be quite healed or maybe there's someone that you just don't want to take up with again. Make sure you're checking yourself with your self-limiting beliefs. I don't think you have them at this point because the Empress is here. Um, but just make sure that you are moving slowly, Taurus. And that's not hard for you, but moving slowly to make decisions. It says here, the need to gain clarity through decision making and then self-limiting beliefs. So please don't look at this situation from the point of what has happened in the past with them if they are brand new a brand new emperor then this person is changed and if you don't want them to hold you to your past behavior then you best not hold them to theirs there we go divine counterpart i'm gonna go for now thanks so much taurus for clicking here and cross watchers love you all thank you so much and uh, i will see you for the sneak peek pretty soon love you guys Bye bye